In the 20th century, everyone was very excited about Moore's Law, computers getting sort of twice as powerful every 18 to 24 months, everyone heard of that. And Moore's Law is still operating and will continue to do so for, for a long time. Um, despite, you know, every, every 18 months you also get headlines about how we've reached the end of Moore's Law, but we, we never seem to. But Kumi's Law, which is named for Jonathan Kumi, a Stanford professor, he, he was one of the authors on a, on a very important paper. Um, uh, Kumi's Law is about how much energy is required to perform a computation. And what Kumi and his colleagues noticed was that throughout the history of computing, from really 1945 onwards, the energy required, the electrical energy required to perform a computation has halved every 18 months. It was amazing consistency. So one of the reasons uh, a cell phone today can do a lot more on uh, eight hours of, of battery than it used to be able to is Kumi's law. Uh, computation is becoming more energy efficient. There are some other reasons as well. Uh, batteries are getting better, for mm -hmm. example. But this, this rapid reduction in energy budget for computation uh, is profoundly interesting, not, not because you can do more with your smartphone on a day's charge, but because uh, at the other end of the computing scale, very simple computing, which is what wireless sensors are, we find that we are tending very quickly towards a situation where computing requires no rechargeable battery, no plugging in. And if what you are looking for is a ubiquitous system of wireless sensors, then obviously you can't be plugging everything into the wall. You can't be changing the battery every year. You can't be recharging the battery every night. So these systems need to operate without apparent power. There needs to be a battery that lasts forever. They need to be so low power they get power from radio waves. They need to be so low power they can, they can harvest acoustic vibrations and get power that way. And what Kumi's law tells us is that we are very rapidly approaching that point. In fact, in many ways, we already have. I mean, last year, about 4 billion RFID tags were produced. RFID, radio frequency identification, is a very simple computing technology. Nearly all of those 4 billion RFID tags had no battery. Uh, they get power from the radio wave that communicates with them. Mm -hmm. So we're already actually in a world where there's a large number of simple computing devices that are completely without batteries. And that's something we're going to see continue uh, and, and evolve over the next few years.